My name is Dr. Tom Kipps. I'm the Deputy Director of Research Operations here at the Moore's UCSD Cancer Center. I'm also the uh, Professor of Medicine in the Division of Hematology Oncology here. I also happen to direct the CLL Research Consortium, which is comprised of the leading investigators in chronic lymphocytic leukemia, uh, some of the leading people doing the most important studies on the biology and genetics of this disease and also on developing new clinical treatments for this disease. We focus a lot of attention on chronic lymphocytic leukemia and this is a blood cancer which means that uh, the cancer cells are circulating and we can get them by a simple blood sample. And what's gratifying is to see work on this type of cancer now bear relevance to these other forms of cancers which are by far more difficult to study. Some of the discoveries that we've made now on this leukemia are having relevance to patients with breast cancer and patients with lung cancer and colon cancer and prostate cancer. We hope very much to be able to bring new therapies to patients with CLL but in so doing we might have the seeds of being able to develop therapeutics that could also benefit patients with, the, with these other forms of cancer. The other aspect, too, that I think is important is that um, one can easily become disillusioned with some of the cancer treatments. There's a lot of damage that's done to normal cells throughout the body. Uh, oftentimes we hear of the horror stories of patients going through cancer chemotherapy. And so there's a sense of urgency that we have that we need to get these new therapy advances developed soon. We hope to have an impact on the disease without having a lot of the collateral damage that we oftentimes see with our cancer chemotherapy. The other aspect that's really quite critical is this gap that we have between translational research and the actual clinical application of these new discoveries. The patients and, and patient donors have been tremendously helpful in being able to provide an infrastructure and the means to be able to bridge that gap so that we can transition some of these discoveries more quickly into the clinic. I'm very impressed with the loved ones of a patient who actually went through a very difficult time. And these aspects were ones that inspired uh, the family to generate the organization Friends of Susan. Uh, they recognize that it's only through um, these efforts that we can try to make a meaningful difference in patients' lives. Your, your gift can actually make a big difference uh, as a researcher uh, we have the excitement and thrill of seeing these new discoveries that can make meaningful impacts into patients' lives. But as a physician, I also see the frustration and concern of patients who have come through and realize that standard therapies are not enough. You know, the family of the Friends of Susan, they've actually uh, set upon themselves to uh, reach a goal so that we can have these therapies available to patients not many years down the road, but within a very short time. And the goal that was set, which is to raise a million dollars, is something that we feel will be necessary to make this transition of the discovery into the clinic. Your help, large or small, can make a big difference. Like a, a candle that offers new light to these patients and provides hope through your caring for what they're going through, that there can be a better solution to affect their lives.